I grew up with like not a very stable home, changed families from like my family to foster care and stuff like that. Like, I'm not scared from what's safe. Maybe because I never like felt that super safe place. I'm going through like a little injury or a previous injury, taking some time, letting my shoulders rest. I was trying to find ways to make back squat even more fun. Putting some measuring, measuring the speed. I, I do have like a sticky point and we're trying to alter the technique a little bit, see if I can get like speed throughout the whole back squat. I feel like I did that more previously when I was working on my back squat and my squat strength in general, but lately I haven't. So we're going back to that. We saw how much I did squat four years ago and it was almost every day. So I was like, okay, I, I can't handle it. We'll be fine. This is the speed of like meters per second. And I feel like over 0 0.5 is good speed. This was average 0 0.6, so that's good. If I can keep 0 0.5 speed on all my sets at 118, that would be very good. Grew up with a big family. I'm the youngest of six siblings. I'm a very competitive person. I guess I kind of have that from maybe from being the youngest, maybe because we were such a big sibling uh, group. You always like, you want to beat them and they would never let me win. They might be nice sometimes, but usually they didn't. So I feel like I grew up with a competitive mindset, just like I can always be better. There's always someone else I can beat and I wanted to beat them. I grew up with like not a very stable home, changed families from like my family to foster care and stuff like that. And it, it never like bothered me that much moving. Like I would never be the person who's like homesick when we went on a trip with a class or soccer team or whatever. I was like, oh, cool. new place. And that's just how it always been. Like, I'm not scared from what's safe. Maybe because I never like felt that super safe place. So I would always like, as long as I got myself, as long as I got my thoughts and my opinions and my stuff, I know I'm. That's more than enough. That's what I grew up with, and that's what I learned growing up, turning into an adult. This CrossFit journey, like. A lot of it has been just on me, so I don't. I'm not that scared of moving, I guess. What's up next? It is yet to be announced. I'm looking into finishing up this team chapter. I am moving to Miami. It's gonna be very exciting, and it's gonna be a new kind of new chapter in some way. I'm not training at CrossFit Oslo this season, which is sad, but I've been there for a long time and I've been looking for moving and like testing out a new environment because I'm very, I don't know, I'm, I'm a person who like, I like to try new stuff, new places, and like see what other people do. I think it's a lot of learning in that and not in any bad way that CrossFit Oslo isn't good because it is very, very good. I just think me as a person evolve a lot with doing something new. Seeing new places, meeting new people, getting new impressions. What's your ultimate dream? To never be satisfied. You're like, I want one goal. <laughs> Yeah, okay, obviously I wanna I wanna win the game, so I'm gonna be on top of that podium. But seriously, ultimate goal is to always keep on like wanting a new goal, you know? Like that's my goal now. But it's not like when I reach that goal, I'm done. I think I really want to like always have a new goal, always 
want to keep evolving and improving and 